If you have been taken by a fast-talking telephone solicitor, you have a lot of company. Some investigators say so-called boiler room operators built the public of more than $100 million a year. Authorities say the best defense is for you to recognize how those boiler rooms operate. In the second part of this close-up report, Randy Ripplinger introduces us to the people who operate the boiler rooms. Here, this is for you. Some guy wants you to buy some pens and he says he's got thousands of dollars of prizes to give you. Well, these are, these are paper mates, not pens. I'll do this. I'll send you a hundred of them for $139. If you love the prize and the paper mates, we'll leave it up to you to get back to us for the other 150 that we have on the shelf. And if you want to buy, he'll send the package COD. Honeycutt, the mailman might not take a check. Keep that in mind. He might demand a money order and or cash and expect it in a few days because I'm rushing it right back out to you because you're one of the few award winners that we haven't heard from yet. Why a money order instead of a check? You might decide to cancel your check when you open the package and find out what you really got. A cashier's check or money order is as good as cash in the boiler room bank. Of course, if you aren't cooperative, he might try intimidating you. Walker, are you a Negro? No, I am not. Because you sound like one. Do you want... I, that, that, I, I say I'm... Do you want me to give your prize to a Jew? I don't care who you give it to. And if that doesn't work, he'll at least send you away insulted. Can I tell you something? I think you're an a well, that's... I mean, no, but I mean that so sincerely. Dude, and I'm not saying this to be rude. You are a I'd come there and say it to you too, but who the heck wants to go to Garner, North Carolina? <laughs> you gotta be a real that boiler room operator was caught and convicted, but there are hundreds still operating. Karen Moore got a call from one of the Southern California boiler rooms. She was offered some office supplies and a chance to win a piano, a computer, a big screen TV, or a grandfather clock. The solicitor pushed the prizes more than the product. That it was a fine quality clock, and they gave me the dimensions of it, which I don't remember. And that it was a fine finish and it was uh, something I'd be proud to have in my home. <laughs> Karen turned it down, but postal inspectors in Los Angeles have one of the clocks. It comes in a kit. You put together the pieces of press board, insert a battery-operated clock, and try to set the hands to the correct time. But the prizes, the pitch, and the products will change frequently. The product is merely a medium. For the fraud. People don't understand that. They think that, oh, it's all advertising specialties. They're all toner and paper pirates and uh, business supplies, or all vitamins, which is big right now. They move from one product to another, whichever is hot or hasn't been used. Even to get the prize, the victim must often send more than $100 to a California address. This is the office, and this is Suite 77 for American Marketing Company. The private mailbox is a detour for angry customers and inquisitive reporters. The boiler room employee who picks up the mail here didn't want to answer any consumer complaints. I don't know why you're trying to talk to me. I think I, uh, I don't really want to talk to you. Apparently, he also didn't want several boxes of returned mail, COD charges that customers had refused. And here on Hollywood Boulevard, where hundreds of phone calls are made to people across the nation, postal investigators are taking an interest in this operation. I just wanted to speak with Rhea Rogers. Okay, there's around? nobody, no, I'm asking you to walk How outside. It's Rhea Gold, property. is she around? But without a search warrant, any other visitors are promptly kicked out. The boiler room business is conducted behind closed doors. So who are these people? Who finances the operation? Postal inspectors have files on some 350 operators in the Los Angeles area alone. Many, they say, are recent Hungarian immigrants. Here's a Bella Istvan Marko. Bella Marko was murdered. So he's no longer around. The man was killed in a family squabble. Many of the boiler room operators are related, which helps perpetuate the business if one family member gets caught. And they have other ties. We feel that several of the bigger operators around here have had ties in Las Vegas. We just know that they have frequent contacts with Las Vegas. They make a lot of trips to Las Vegas, and they, some of them maintain bank accounts in Las Vegas. State and federal agents have been battling the boiler rooms for years now. So far, the boiler rooms are winning. In Southern California, Randy Ripplinger, Channel 2 News.